It's not necessarily their fault either. It's just that, you know, the uh, studio exec is like, like okay, we back. need a uh, we need a Jim Carrey. All right, yeah. put a Jim Carrey in yeah, there. And what's he doing? You know, yeah, exactly. I think Jim Carrey's best role is Eternal Sunshine, where he's playing the exact opposite of Jim right. Carrey. Mm -hmm. Right. He's playing a really kind of shy, kind of not. <laughs> you know, right. Yeah. 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 Um, so one of the actors I think that is Anthony Hopkins has played a lot of different roles. Mm -hmm. He's right. played everything from Hannibal to you know the world's fastest Indian to right. you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. all sorts of stuff. So right. I think he, he's pretty cool. But I, there, I wouldn't say there's any main actors that, that I'm looking right. looking mm -hmm. to make scripts for. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there? Um, I know you said that uh, was it Gondry and Zemeckis were your favorite. Would those be guys you'd like to model your career after, or? Yeah, well, they've had pretty different careers, I guess. But they've. I think I just. I feel like both those guys have done well. Zemeckis, Gondry, I like because he's definitely pushed. The, he he keeps pushing what film is and what you know how you make a film and what right. the structure of film and. And Kaufman really helps him with, you know, he's probably the only truly original screenwriter in, in Los Angeles. I right. Think. And that's what excites me about film, is what hasn't been done. Everybody's like, oh, every story's being told. Right. But, like, Eternal Sunshine, I think that, the thing that I hate about romantic comedies is they're all exactly the same. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Boy meets girl, yeah. pro they have a problem, oh, they break up, and they get back okay. together again. Yeah. The only thing that ever changes is who they are. Mm -hmm. One's really young, one's really old. You know, they're both yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, they're both yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, one's fat, one's skinny. Yeah. You know, Sometimes like, gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. It's always mm -hmm. the same. Whereas yeah. Eternal Sunshine, I think, was kind of the, in a long time, the first truly original love story. Right. Yeah. It's about them falling out of love. Right. And in doing so, kind of fall in love and have this amazing scene. That I always love the scene at the end where they're listening to tapes of a relationship falling apart that they don't even remember having. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I'm so sorry, I would never say that about right. you. And it's like, yeah. I, I didn't say that, but there's a tape of him yeah. saying, you know, right. and then yeah, they yeah. choose to still have, then they choose to have a relationship. Even no, even though that no eventually is going to end. Right. And that is a totally unique romantic thing that's never happened in a film before because yeah. of everything that happened before it in the movie. And so, I don't know, I'm not really answering the question of the careers of Zemeckis or Gondry. <laughs> yeah, right. The stuff that I like about both of them is when they've done something that's been new. Mm -hmm, right. Show everybody that not every story has been told. Right. Right. Or at least they tell a story better than anyone else has ever told it. Right. That's great. Um, so I guess the key to telling a good story is the, I guess, the, orig like the originality behind it. Not the it. originality, but that's a hook that mm -hmm. definitely makes it exciting for right. me. Mm -hmm. I think the key to a good story is just good narrative and good character development and good motivations for each moment. And something I should really try and do is at every single second of every beat, mm -hmm. I try and think of what is the audience getting out of this second. Right, <laughs> right. So, yeah. And a lot of the films that I try and make, if you watch them, they kind of, they're just like continually going. They don't really have a beat where they, 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 in, in, even if there is a, a moment of nothing happening, it's on purpose to get to the next beat even better. Right, right. Everything has mm -hmm. a purpose. Um, so, I think I think originality is is just one of the key the key pieces, as well as just you know who the characters are, why we care about them, and <laughs> what right. the stakes are to what's happening to them, right. and what the narrative is. Mm -hmm. Those are the hardest parts. That's fantastic. Um, I guess uh, I guess we're starting to close off here. If you could sure. offer a piece of advice to you know an aspiring filmmaker, you know, what would that advice be? Um, I think it's it's basically just make movies, I see. and don't be discouraged because everybody makes you know I've only ever made movies through making mistakes, mm -hmm. <laughs> and even every film I've ever made, even though some of them I really don't like there's still been things out of it that have made other films better or people I've met that have, you know, helped me make other films better or it's right. always, it's always, you're always moving forward. You know, I've made some awful 24 hour films. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But I got to work with some amazing people and definitely put them through their paces to mm -hmm. see if I wanted to work with them again and right. it's really just about making the movies and the more movies you make, the more people you meet and the more 
work you have and and, and it's and on top of that it's about the group of people you're doing it with and even if it's about putting everything you have in to help someone else like I remember I was I volunteered for a year doing visual effects on this, on my one buddy's film but it was the first film that our group of probably 10 or 20 filmmakers had ever done in HD so it was kind of it wasn't my film but by being really involved in there, I got to learn everything there was about how this whole new thing of HD was going to work. Mm -hmm. So it's just like find those opportunities to learn and find those opportunities to help people, and then it'll all kind of ascend into hopefully a career. <laughs> but it's hard. It's, I was lucky enough to have people, you know, to have parents that wanted to support me to go after that. So right. that was the lucky part for me. Okay. Well, I think we'll uh, we'll close yeah. out there. Absolutely. Um, I guess. Thanks a thank lot for coming. It was a pleasure. <laughs> um, I guess thanks for uh, for watching. Until next time. See you later. See you guys. See ya, internet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>